Well, the time has finally come to set the first bridge piece. I love working with big slabs of stone and creating bridges. On this project, we're going to try and achieve a look that we have done on numerous projects. And it's a bridge element where two pieces of stone kind of come together. It's almost like they were split. We call it the peekaboo bridge. On this one, it's going to be a peekaboo bridge on steroids compared to the one at our retail store. Good morning, everybody. We are back out here on this really cool, deep pond that we have out here in Bartlett. We are going to make some killer progress today because we finally have some much nicer weather. It's supposed to be sunny, high 45. I think we're gonna really rock and roll. We also have everybody out here today. Jack is back. We have Dan, Steve, Luis, and myself, and we have plenty of stuff to keep us busy. So we're gonna split up into a couple teams and get rolling. Jack's at the front, dumping rock right now. Dan, Luis, and Steve are busy setting up our canopy that we're gonna put up over top of this brick wall and they're gonna go ahead and finish the last couple courses down here you can see we have what looks like glass big sheets of glass down here that is actually ice it rained over the weekend and we got a few inches of rainwater in here and it ended up freezing so we're just draining that out then we'll get these pieces of ice out of here and give these guys a nice comfortable working spot to finish off this wall Jack and myself are going to finish rocking this little bottom section here along with either Steve and Luis finish up this little area and then we'll focus our energies back over on setting the bridge pieces and really working in that intake bay. So that'll be the progress we'll make over the next couple days. Hopefully the weather holds out for us, but we are going to get rolling. All right, so as I said, Jack was out here dumping rock. You can see him putting the tailgate back up on the truck, but this is gonna be our selection. So we've got a great selection of big granite out here. There's a ton of small stuff already back there from the previous pond, but we're gonna go ahead and try and chew up through a lot of this pile. They picked some of this stuff up from the shop and some of it was delivered in the original load, but we should be able to eat up most of this rock today just along that intake bay and bottom section that we talked about so jack you ready to roll i am like so excited this week it's it's super nice out i don't have my vest on so you know it's gonna be a nice day out i'm just happy to be setting rock in december i mean it's two weeks before christmas and we're out here and it's really nice weather sun's out no snow and no wind sun's out guns, guns out, out. <laughs> well let's get rolling bud really really happy that we're gonna get some nice weather so we can make some good progress today so fingers crossed everything goes as planned Okay, so like I showed you this morning, we still have the tent set up. We've got the heater down there. Dan, I think, is breaking a sweat. Maybe he's in his swim trunks down there. Maybe not, but he's down there working on that wall. We've got this whole bottom section rocked. You can see we've got like a little cobble landslide over there. I smell a barbecue running, and yes, our incredible customer is making us, actually, there she is. We love it when customers do this. So if any of you are future customers, wink, wink, this is a great way to get us to work extra hard. I'm grateful for you guys. <laughs> you're in the cold. I don't know how you're doing it. Oh my gosh, you are amazing. What do we got over here? Burgers, hot dogs, and some Woo. homemade mac and cheese. So. Holy moly. <laughs> This is awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I know it's welcome. been a challenge, you know, getting pulled off the job and now coming back out. So it's been an adventure. Are you good. are you loving the progress? Yes. Every night we come out here super excited to check it all out. So we're thrilled. That's <laughs> awesome. Thank you so, so much. You're welcome. I can't wait. I know the guys can't either. We're going to get it while it's hot. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to eat lunch. I'm going to break it right there and get our manja on and we'll get those bridge pieces set. And I think we're going to have a pretty productive day. So again, super pumped with the progress. All right, let's go. Let's go eat. Oh, look at that heat right there. Look at steam. steam coming off of that. Ooh. Get it, Steve. Yeah, I'm excited yeah. for that one. Right <laughs> Jack, what are you going to do? You're going to do a hamburger, hot dog? Cheeseburger. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> big smiles whenever we get fed. Dan's earning it today. So what do you guys have to say? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, it's delicious. <laughs> I'm a big boy, I like food, so. <laughs> Very much appreciated. Two Thank thumbs you. up, much appreciated. Awesome. Thank you so You're much welcome. again, appreciate you. Yep. Now it's my turn. Well, the time has finally come to set the first bridge piece. I love working with big slabs of stone and creating bridges. On this project, we're going to try and achieve a look that we have done on numerous projects, but we have displayed very, very well in our retail store at our home base at Aqualand. And it's a bridge element where two pieces of stone kind of come together. It's almost like they were split. We call it the peekaboo bridge. On this one, it's going to be a peekaboo bridge on steroids compared to the one at our retail store. We have two 
massive slabs of Black Hills rustic stone and I think they're going to fit the scale of this project perfectly. So let me bring you over here and show you the stones that we're gonna use. Now we have two pieces on this pallet as you can see and we've already strapped up the top piece. This is gonna be the first one we're gonna go in but this is every bit of five and a half feet going this way and probably three to three and a half feet this way. So it's an enormous slab. On some projects, this could be its own bridge by itself and just a solid bridge piece. But we have two pieces approximately the same size. One's gonna go this way, the other's going to go this way. Not necessarily at a 90 degree angle, but they're not going to run straight at each other. Where you got one piece and then another one right behind it. We're going to twist and turn and create that movement that we always looking for when doing rock work, edge work, and our pathways and all that stuff. So really excited to set this first piece. This is gonna set the tone for the other one. We did a little bit of prep work for it already, and I'll explain that to you when we get back down in the pond. Or in the meantime, we gotta get this rock strapped up over there so we can place it. things that we try to achieve too when we get these big slabs of stone is to make sure that we get them as close to level left to right and front to back as we can it just makes it so much easier when placing it you can see how this rock is not really tipped one way or the other so we really want to have that thing nice and flat so we're gonna go ahead and take it over there Jack's gonna back his way up and then we'll get over there put it spin all the way around to your left let's keep it in close to you so nice. All right, so there's our first bridge piece that was going in. Because of the length of this thing going this direction, we needed to cut a shelf back in here so it would sit down nice and flat. It's going to rest on top of this rock right here. Now we leveled it off left to right, as well as front to back. So this is going to be kind of a pedestal or a kickstand for the front half of the bridge piece to sit on. And then the rest of it will rest on top of the fabric and liner, and then a little bit of gravel leveling that piece off right there. So we're gonna fold this fabric and liner back lay it out flat get some more fabric on top of the liner and then go ahead and rest this piece and it will sit right on top of all of this cannot wait it's going to look incredible this piece makes such a statement and then when the second piece goes in it's gonna look incredible So good, so really pays to understand elevations and that kind of stuff, especially when setting bridge pieces or bridge elements. These slabs are five inches thick and I really, really, really wanted that water to kind of cover up the bottom. So water level is actually right here. So we set this kickstand or this pedestal stone about three quarters of an inch below water level so that this would sit on top and we really get that peekaboo or that rush of water flowing through the gap between the two bridge stones. Super important to make sure that your base and everything is solid. You can saw us cut out that shelf and then it's sitting on back over there. We used a couple of aqua block panels to actually build that up so that we got this thing nice and level. But now that the bubble is between the lines running all directions, I feel like we're pretty good to go. Now it's up to us to start rocking in the rest and putting some of these big signature boulders on the other side and really framing out that intake bay and giving it some depth and dimension. Earlier you heard me talk about the two bridge pieces and how they're going to kind of come together at more of an angle. That next piece is going to set over here so and it will lead from a pathway that kind of twists to it. This is coming in a straight line like this. The next one will not go in a straight line. It's gonna be at more of an angle. So that's why we set this edge at the angle at which we did. 